Thank you, frame six. Ricky Walden to break. And it was terrific. He got a brilliant reception from the crowd before he broke off. And then, well, what does Ronnie do? He knocks in a long red, gets himself on the black, and off we go again. But they're terrific. They have been terrific all week here at the Alley Pally. They've been fair to every player. If they produce the goods, they're getting the reception from this hey. super crowd. And no. let's be fair, we need crowds like this at the game. It's great to see. Yeah, and we're certainly being treated to something very, very special this afternoon. This really is snooker from the gods. 16. <laughs> 17. Already this looks ominous. It really does. Twenty-four. Well, the fact that he screwed back for the black tells us something. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. I wonder, is he after another record that the gentleman in the studio holds, Stephen Hendry, has eleven maximum breaks, 32. as Ronnie O'Sullivan has. Thirty-three. No special prize for a maximum here, just the high break prize, which carries ten thousand pounds. So the red nicely on the black. And forty one. Well, it's not nicely on the black to go into them here. But he's got the one loose red that he's coming around to see. He could leave himself on that. It's not possible. Surely he couldn't finish with a maximum break. Forty-eight. Forward. He still might be able to clip it in and catch the edge of the bunch. Well, it's a tricky shot, this. But if it goes in, there will be a big chance because these reds will get splattered. Yeah. Oh, get past that red for the green pocket. 56. I think he can, John. Sullivan 56. Well, it was a great effort. Just ran slightly out of position there. But the frame is not safe just yet. Come on, Ricky. 
facilement. said before this afternoon, but worth repeating, Key Walden is a seriously good player and he's just run into something very special this afternoon. Not a lot he could do in most of the frames. It's been long reds potted by Ronnie and then it's been all over in one visit. It can happen at this game, Dennis. It's not like golf. You don't have your, you know, someone makes a birdie, you can make a birdie with your ball. When the cue ball's not in your hand, you're in trouble when you're playing someone as good as O'Sullivan with it. Yeah, I don't think Ricky is going to be too disappointed. OK. If he gets quite washed 6-0, he still can't be disappointed because he's done nothing wrong. He's got in the first frame, he made a 38. The pack didn't open nicely for him. And that, that's it. He hasn't had another chance, really. Departments as well with Ronnie at the moment. Long game's good. Safety's good. There's pressure on everything every time you come to the table. Now you're just getting so little opportunity that you just can't get any rhythm yourself. No flow in your game. Laces there, uh, Ricky. But being very disciplined there, Ronnie, he could have taken that red on. 5 0 in front, 56 0 in front, but he's played the correct shot. Okay, the cannon on the brown has spoiled it somewhat, but whichever pot Ricky takes on he's looked at both reds there he'd feel he'd have to get it might play it while well, he's playing the safety shot it's not a good one that could be ricky's last shot in this year's masters yeah just only good news i suppose is that red went next to the pink unless it pots if that pink pots in there that could be the end. And obviously after that shot, it does. One. Seven. It's going to be very interesting uh, to hear Ronnie's interview. I hope he doesn't go through and say, well, I didn't play too badly today. You know, I, I was struggling a little bit. And <laughs> Ten. But he's the sort of character, Ronnie, he may not get too excited. Uh, Eleven. But, uh, I'll tell you what, I've watched snooker for many, many years. I've seen Ronnie do unbelievable things on the table, but this 15. is up there with his best performance, you'd have to say. You just cannot play 16. any better than this, John. Now, it's been a virtuoso exhibition. That good. And Ricky Walden, well, you can't be too disappointed. You just didn't get a shot. 23. 24. Well, the only good thing from Ricky's point of view is he's had the best seat in the house to watch this. He's one of the nicest 31. lads you'll ever wish to meet, Ricky Walden, but 
He's 32. Right into a genius here this afternoon.